hello out there welcome to this tutorial it's directed numbers and in this video we are going to look at addition and subtraction so we take problem one problem one evaluate each of the following a 12 plus 8 b 17 minus 13 c 9 minus 11 d negative 5 minus 13 e negative 8 plus 4 and f negative 10 minus 7 so we start with a part of the problem this is the addition we are familiar with so this is 12 plus 8 so this is unit plus this unit makes 10 and plus this 10 make 20 so 12 plus 8 gives 20 then we go to b for b we have 17 minus 13 17 minus 13 we add 4 to 13 to make 17 so 17 minus 13 gives 4 then we go to c part of the problem 9 minus 11 this is something most of us are not familiar with taking away large number from small number 9 minus 11 so what we do is we treat it normally 11 minus 9 now taking away small number from large number which is normal 11 minus 9 gives 2 9 minus 11 here now will be negative of 11 minus 9. So that will give us negative 2. So if you look at it, 9 minus 11 is negative 2 because 11 minus 9 is positive 2. So we go to D part of the problem. Negative 5 minus 13. In this problem, let us look at the numbers individually like if i look at this this is negative 5 and here this is negative 13 so what we do is both of them are negative so we bring in the negative sign then we now add the individual numbers so 5 plus 13 gives 18 therefore negative 5 minus 13 gives negative 18 this is the simplest way we can explain this anytime you have negative minus another number so we this is a negative number that's negative 5 and this is a negative number negative 13 so we keep the negative sign that both of them share that we now add the two numbers to give us a negative 5 minus 13 equals negative 18 so we go to e for e we have negative 8 plus 4 i can rearrange this so that the positive number comes first so we now have it as 4 minus 8 the sign of 8 here is negative it is still negative here the positive here it is still positive here so this is another case of subtracting large number from small number so again we treat it normally as 8 minus 4 which will give us a 4 since 8 minus 4 gives positive 4 therefore 4 minus 8 gives negative 4 that is the solution of negative 8 plus 4 then we go to f part of the problem negative 10 minus 7 this is another case of negative number negative number so this is negative 10 this is negative 7 so we pick the common sign which is a negative then we now add 10 plus 7 which gives 17 therefore negative 10 minus 7 gives negative 17 so we are done with problem one so we go to problem two for problem two 
we are to evaluate each of the following 8.2 plus 6.8 b 7.6 minus 3.9 c 5.3 minus 9.5 d negative 4.7 minus 4.6 and e negative 6.81 plus 9.2 so starting from the a part of the problem so in this problem the addition is going to be done normally this is 8.2 plus 6.8 we are going to do it in a tabular form so i have 8.2 plus 6.8 so 6.8 here we take it digit by digit 2 plus 8 gives 10 i write 0 and carry 1 to the next column then this is the point i place the point now 1 plus 8 gives 9 plus 6 gives 15 so 8.2 plus 6.8 gives 15.0 so we are done with a we go to b for b this is subtraction we still make it a tabular form 7.6 minus 3.9 so in our subtraction here we cannot say 6 minus 9 now we borrow one from here placing it here it becomes 16 16 minus 9 gives a uh, 7 we place our point so we're left with 6 here so 6 minus 3 gives a uh, 3 therefore 7.6 minus 3.9 gives 3.7 so that's the solution of problem b we go to c for c we have a 5.3 minus 9.5 this is a case of subtracting large number from small number again so we are going to treat it normally by subtracting small number from the big number so that we now have it as 9.5 minus 5.3 so 5 minus 3 gives a uh, 2 and 9 minus 5 gives 4 so we place our point here and have our 4 here so since the larger number minus the small number gives 4.2 therefore this small number minus the large number will give us negative 4.2 so that is the solution of problem c we go to problem d for problem d we have negative 4.7 minus 4.6 this is a negative number this is a negative number so we are going to keep the common sign which is a negative then we add the two numbers so adding the two numbers i have 4.7 plus 4.6 so here 7 plus 6 gives 13 i'm writing 3 carrying 1 to this place that 1 plus 4 gives 5 plus 4 gives 9 so that is going to give us 9.3 so we are bringing the sum here which is 9.3 so that negative 4.7 minus 4.6 gives negative 9.3 that is the solution to problem d so we go to problem e so in problem 2e we have negative 6.81 plus 9.2 here we are going to rearrange so that the positive comes first then we now have it as 9.2 minus 6.81 this subtraction is a normal subtraction so we carry out the subtraction since this is two decimal places we can make this one two decimal places also so that to balance our subtraction so we have it as 
minus six point eight one. So we carry out the subtraction. We cannot say zero minus one. So what we do is we borrow one from two, it becomes ten here. Ten minus one gives nine. We are left with one, and we cannot say one minus eight. We borrow one from nine, it becomes eleven. Eleven minus eight gives three. So we place our point. We are left with eight after borrowing one. So eight minus six gives two. This is the solution to this problem. So that negative 6.81 plus 9.2 gives 2.39. This is the end of this lesson. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Until I come your way again, goodbye.